today on a cold, well, rather chilly, October, late October day. We are at Stonewall Jackson Lake in West Virginia, and we're doing another boat launch review. Stonewall Jackson Lake just sets on the outskirts of Weston, West Virginia. This boat launch in particular is on the western side, uh, actually the western leg, as there are three legs, Stonewall Jackson Lake. This would be the most western side, and it's in really good shape. Again, the lake is fairly new, so a lot of the amenities um, are in still, you know, is still serviceable and in good shape, and they do a good job of keeping the maintenance up as well. And again, this boat launch is um, at a low water pool, um, probably not all the way down as they're still releasing, I would say. I don't know that for a fact, but even still, it's, it's a pretty deep water launch. So the sailboats, um, even with fixed kills, would be okay as long as they didn't draft more than three feet. Probably some underwater hazards. Again, where the lake isn't real, real old, trees and such. There's things to watch out for as you're leaving this ramp. This ramp also has the uh, extra dock space, which is uh, 75 yards maybe from the actual launch. They're really nice though, because you can launch and then uh, tie your boat up to the dock there unload the stuff from the parking lot, which it has ample parking. Parking lot is, is really large. And uh, for those of you who have watched our other videos and know about our catamaran being confiscated due to parking issues in North Carolina, it's really good to see that they allow overnight parking. And there's no signs warning that you, uh, you'll be towed if you detach from your boat. Here's the information board in the center of the parking lot. Boat launch number two, still on the western side of the lake. Okay, boat launch number two at Stonewall Jackson Lake State Park is on Mud Lick Road. And I wouldn't advise it for sailboats because a bridge. Again, at boat launch number two, there's a lot of water hazards and they're quite visible at the uh, winter pool. And I would say most of these, looking at the shoreline, would disappear at full pool. They would still nonetheless be a hazard. And you couldn't get a sailboat out of here anyway because of the, uh, the bridge. So number two on Mud Lick would be a no-go. Okay, we're at the marina for Stonewall Jackson. It is nice. It is really nice. Again, newer, modern. With ample parking. I'll have to say, just about every boat launch here has plenty of parking. I always like to do these videos and concentrate solely on the boat launch facilities, but I have to say Stonewall Jackson has everything from camping to golf to pools to playgrounds. So there's plenty to do, not on the water.
This is the cottage area of Stonewall Jackson. It's just north of the resort um, lodge. Which you may see out in the distance here. You can barely see it through the treetops there. Okay, so we're here at boat launch, uh, the ramp number three at Stonewall Jackson. This launch, this ramp is for the cottages only. And it's really neat. If you rent a cottage here, of course you have your own boat launch, which is sailboat friendly. There's no overhead power lines or any obstructions that would cause any damage or concern. But with the cottage rentals, you even get your own boat slip. So as we leave this area, I'll video some of the cottages as well. The cottages at Stonewall Resort are really, really nice. And as I mentioned before, the uh, cottages come with their own boat slip. So you can just simply walk down to the boat launch there, and grab your boat and go. In addition to cottage rentals, this resort also offers uh, full lake houses, which are large to say the least. Uh, and again, just like the cottages, they come with their own boat slips so that you can dock your boat and walk to the cottage or the, uh, the rental house. Stonewall Jackson State Park also has kayak rentals near the lodge portion of the park. You can see the lodge off in the distance. It overlooks the water. 